When in LA, be sure to visit the Silent Movie Theater on Fairfax Avenue. It is one of the few remaining operational silent theaters, and it is a gem among the many cookie cutter theaters of today. It is currently owned by Dan Harkin. Well, the Silent Movie Theater was started in 1942 by uh, John and Dorothy Hampton, who came out here from Oklahoma and basically started a movie theater that was supposed, they told the bank it was going to be for sound and contemporary film, but it turned out never to be ever a, a sound theater. Under their reign, it was always silent films. Our theater definitely has something that other theaters don't have, which is just like that warmth and the well, it's a very welcoming environment. It's not a very like uh, movie theater, lots of places, like confusing place. You come here, you sit down, you watch a movie, you leave. You know, there's not like confusion. So there's a lot, it's, it's very homey here, but there, we, I definitely wouldn't ever compare our little theater to a multiplex. It's just totally different things. Sound films are important because First of all, a lot of these, this is where, you know, this is the forefathers of Hollywood. This is who started the whole industry um, of, of film and really gave other people the opportunity, or our contemporary time, opportunity to really start making films and they're pioneers and all of these, of course, very stereotypical, like, just things about silent movie theater, uh, silent movies in general. The silent movie theater is fortunate enough to have an original organ player accompanying their movies. Bob Mitchell is 95 years old. Bob Mitchell does, we show a film a week basically. Um, usually he does uh, three out of five shows. We showed Metropolis recently and he played to that film when it was first run in 1928. So we try to use him. Um, for the bigger shows so that more people can see him because he is uh, 95 years old. So we're trying to, you know, really utilize him. He's, he loves it, so as long as he wants to do them, I tell him to do more and more and more, so. Well, we used to have the first run in Pasadena. I played for Rudolph Valentino in The Eagle, uh, where he is a, a Cossack, and also uh, for Cobra, which was current, I mean, it was contemporary at the time. I did play for Metropolis in uh, 1928, but I do think that the Hamptons, who built the silent movie theater here in Hollywood, were correct in feeling that uh, silent movies are an art form. Now we realize that without uh, sound and without color, uh, it can be wonderfully entertaining and work on the emotions. You can cry and uh, you can laugh at these things uh, without having control over yourself. What I've experienced from silent films, especially comedies, is I've never in my life I've been I, I've been going to movies for a long time, in movie theaters, you know, and I've and I've been to a lot of really funny movies, and it, it, and I'm not just saying this because I run the, own the theater, but I've never in my life ever heard laughs in any other film like I hear in our theater here, and it's 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 actually really interesting when people can be so engaged in the film where they're like, after a show, I think they're gonna like come and riot the place because they're just dying of laughter. For more information, please visit the website or call the number on your screen.